I got another mystery that's coming up in the next segment that I want you to solve for me. Tony Schiavone interviews FTR and Tully Blanchard. And we'll get to it in a minute, but we've got we've got a mystery. It's a riddle wrapped in an, an enigma surrounded by a conundrum as to who the heels are in this issue. And secondly, apparently one of the Bucks has disappeared. Apparently, Balding Buck possibly has recently undergone surgery at the Cy Sperling Hair Club for Men's Center in Edina, Minnesota. He's missing. His, we've seen his foot, but none of the rest of him. Possibly he's now just a disembodied foot. Perhaps, so, perhaps he's embarrassed by his brother's acting skills. And by the way, his brother's name is after, uh, of course, the passing of Road Warrior Animal. We have retired Road Warrior Buck. I think that the best name that I saw, I think we're going to go with this from now on due to his no selling and kicking of everybody's ass at his completely unintimidating physical size and stature and his smarmy, smart ass smirk to begin with that scares no one. Buck Hogan. Ah, that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, Buck Hogan and Balding Buck, the young bucks. Anyway, a lot of people recommended Bruiser Buck. I was thinking, yeah, how about but- Dick the Buck? <laughs> Dick the Buck. We may use that. <laughs> Balding and Dick the Buck. We'll use it in this one anyway. So Tony Schiavone is interviewing FTR and Tully Blanchard. And Cash knocked the good buddies, the best friends, whatever their name is. He put SCU over as athletes. Dax ran the Bucks down. They're doing a heel interview about how the Bucks are... You know, goofy, and they're doing the goofy backyard stuff, right? They they know that that'll get some heat with that audience. We've tr- blazed that trail. Um, of course, he has to mention Dave Meltzer giving him the stars and everything. So he, he's a heel with that childish audience. Uh, but anyway, suddenly as they're doing a heel interview, the heel team, the champions with a heel manager, suddenly two feet appear in the screen. And super kick Tony Schiavone. Poor Tony Schiavone, who's, I believe, 62 years old and never a trained professional as far as taking bumps. And so it looked like shit and it was phony to begin with. But you see then Dick the Buck, but you never see Balding Buck at all. You saw two feet and then, and, and Dick the Buck refers to Balding Buck. But did you see? Was this show live, 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 no second chance at anything? I'm not sure. This segment certainly wasn't. Well, this was a pre-tape in the back. One would think that they would. I'm, Raw, the WWE, sometimes these backstage segments are actually live, believe it or not. Or at least they used to be. So you never know. If this wasn't live, somebody ought to be fired. It looked so ridiculous when Tony Schiavone, out of nowhere, while FTR is talking to him, gets super kicked by two people, allegedly, that we didn't know were there, and FTR, Tully didn't even register it. Nobody, it was just they just looked like, oh, like a fucking blase cell. Well, that shouldn't have happened, kind of expression. And then this fucking douchebag, Dick the Buck, says his heelish shit. And then, come on, Nick, and the unseen brother, and they walk away, and FTR is just standing there, and and nobody's even looking at Tony Schiavone, who is allegedly still laying on the ground, writhing in pain. This was, this was past phony. I wrote, I wrote horrible. Why would you do this? Question mark. Heel team with heel manager cutting heel promo, and then here come the baby faces who have switched into whiny heels to sell this program blindside the announcer to uh, allegedly build the match or the issue. And then Jr. and Taz and excrement had to react to this. I said, well, they shouldn't have done that. Well, what would happen (laughs) if on an NFL game, if one of the players just suddenly didn't like who one of the uh, 
on the field announcers was talking to and just ran over and whacked that fucking announcer over the head with his football helmet. What would the reaction be like? People would be losing their minds. Why then? Why? What's the difference here? Why would? Why wouldn't the programs, if they were going to do such a stupid, phony thing as this, then if they, why wouldn't the programs shut down, stop down, and everybody be clutching their pearls and threatening lawsuits or whatever? At least if you're going to do something, do it. But this is just outlaw bad indie wrestling. And I swear to God, if. I'm surprised JR didn't say in the next segment, well, we can't grieve forever. I guarantee you he said it off the air. 